It's about time we start taking ourselves a little Let's more serious it. around this place. And we need to hear some pimping right quick because we ain't heard none all day. You keep bringing that guitar to work, man. When you gonna like, use it one day? That shit sound like when goddamn James Brown was on his way to the concert. Sam. This one of them angry black man songs. That's what I'm saying. In the 60s. Exactly. You gotta have that bass. You got the bass right there. Mm -hmm. You scared to play this shit, though. Ooh! Hey. hey, man, you gotta walk with the bass. Bro, don't them hats look like Jimmy John's logo? I don't care what you've been told, Jack. Get off of my back. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you say that. I can see that. I can see that. It's right there. But I didn't see it till you said it. you been told, It was all Jack. the two. Get off of my back. Black man. Um, so That's not what I meant to do. So where are you from? I'm from Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah. KC Missouri. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. It's another one. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. Why is y'all beefed out? It's not know. even like. And I thought, listen. That's town when, business. When I thought. That's, that's town business. I thought. Yeah. 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 When I, my first yeah. time going to Kansas <laughs> City, Missouri, I thought Kansas City, Kansas was like a world away. This shit Across is seven <laughs> minutes Three. away, my nigga. I'm no like, river, nothing. no railroad. Like, it's like right there. I'm like, the mall world. that you go to is in Kansas City, Kansas. If you live in, the good mall is in Kansas City, Kansas. If you live in Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, I mean, like, what? No, 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 no. We have the plaza in Kansas City, Missouri. The Chiefs play in Kansas City, Missouri. The Royals play in Kansas City, What's Missouri. What's the mall so in Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas, 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 Kansas that you They beefed out. I don't know what happened up there. The the outdoor outlet mall? No, the one with the, the, uh, with the Nordstrom. On it. Baby, that's 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 uh that's Kansas City, Missouri on the plaza. Uh, I don't know that's about that the plaza. That's that outside with the fountains and no, everything no, no, like that. No, no, not that one. I'm talking about not at the plaza is an indoor mall. No, it's not. That's, it's that, outdoor. I mean, the one I'm talking about in Kansas City, Kansas is, is an outdoor. It? Is an indoor mall. That's not, that's, in, that's, in, that's in Kansas. That's an Overland Park, Kansas. Boy, you talking to me like y'all bloods and crips. No I'm disrespect. I'm just saying, like, hold on now. Let's like you know, let's get it right if we're gonna get it at all. Like you know, I mean, this is hey, my hey, city. And Chico be going to the mall. Because oh, I go to cities and I go to the mall, and they be like, you know, you bought Chico came to. I'm like, <laughs> I know he did. I, if I know anything, I know the malls in every city. So you don't I, do any online shopping? No. You just gotta feel it in person, see if the yeah, pants fit you right. Yeah, because that shit come and it don't fit right, and then you gotta end up going to the mall to take it back. That's so you might as well go to the mall the first time and not have to worry about the shit. I know, yeah. I like to feel the fabric, see how it is and everything, see if it fits. So. You made weird these days. Exactly. Oh, for you, you got thick, thick boy problems? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can say that. <laughs> What's this? Leather right here? You know what nah, I'm it's, these are my people, man. Imported they, European, what's Shout this? out to Kappa, man. They reached out to me and they said they really like the way I be liking the way, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that, that, that I be putting it together. And they reached <laughs> out to me on some player shit and they said, you know, we finna send you this care package because we care and then, you know You know what, what? I fuck with the Kappa shit, but I just always feel strange wearing some shit called Kappa and I'm an alpha. Hey, man, uh, I, yeah. I feel like it's it strange, conflict. my name. I feel like it's gonna attract the right type of energy. If you look at the logo, it's, it's yeah, two it's ladies. Yeah, two ladies, yeah. But naked back to back. They always That's look how you like, like it, right? They look like the truck lady. <laughs> I just like to put right. that shit out. Lady there. on the truck? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, who do we have the pleasure? Oh, we ain't even get oh, to bro, I don't know, yeah, I mean, I'm just like... Are we starting? Are we, no. we starting? No. This is the pre to the pre? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like... This is the pre I was, I was to the like, yeah, let's just really get straight into the conversation. Let's nah, do it. No, that's how we just... When we do, that's how we get running. That's how we run the 85 yeah, South Show I mean, news. That's how we get running. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're yeah. running. We're still yeah, waiting on so a few... Yeah, we're waiting on a few final numbers to come in and things of that nature and just let the atmosphere kind of settle. You know what I mean? Well, that's good. I like that you brought up my city, Kansas City, because that's what I brought up. Yeah, 100%. I can tell. I yeah. can tell. I scooted over a little bit <laughs> just to be safe. Y'all don't know this lady. Y'all don't know this lady. I know this lady. Oh, bro, you gotta know this lady, man. Well, you gotta know this lady. I'll tell you in a minute, but I wanna I'm gonna know let the some whole of that story. James Brown play for a minute. She'll, you can give him a few fun facts before we really just kick in the dough with the folks. <laughs> Alright, you can give him a few fun facts. Before we really just kick in the dough with the folks. Give, him, I guess what? give I us mean, a fun fact about Kansas City that we wouldn't know. Something oh. historical about your city that the majority of the country would not know unless you were from Kansas City. Damn. 
Damn. Okay. She gonna um, be making shit too difficult. I mean, nah, not the way she I just talked to me. Think about nah. This. She well, should know everything. Okay, well, okay, so well, I'm from Kansas City. I grew up off 78th Street in Troost. Okay, and Troost is, you know, historic street in Kansas City, Missouri, because it was the dividing line, right, between blacks and whites, right, back in Jim Crow days. And so that is very interesting, because if you go to that part of the city, there are a lot of, you know, historic areas, and it's just it's just one of those big things. And a lot of people in Kansas City know that. I don't think anybody outside of it would know that, but... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There's a dividing line, yeah. There's a dividing line. What's yeah. your barbecue spot? I mean, that's Gates Barbecue. Okay, like, I gotta go. give it, you All know, right, that's the go. original right let's there. Go. Shout out to Brother let's King. Go. He let's always go. brings me yeah. yeah. a go. whole lot of yeah. Gates yeah. Barbecue every time. Yeah. Anytime yeah. I go Look, that, that big, that big uh, sewer lid. Yeah. It's yeah. a Ninja yeah. Turtle sewer lid full of meat. They pull up. Salute to Brother KT, because he will call and just pray for you. Just randomly, man. Just out of the time. always Positive brother. Don't, he don't want nothing. He don't, I ain't ask you for nothing. He just calling to give you a prayer, man. Salute to you for that, brother. KT. No, I, I get City, that bro. beef on bun on bread right there. You know, Kansas yeah. City is known for its burnt ends. It has the best barbecue in the nation. A lot of people like to debate with me on this subject, but it's not up for debate. So, you know. I'm going to open Nobody... me a barbecue spot one day. Atlanta barbecue? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, how man, would you listen, cook the meat? I'll tell you though, something like, about him. Mississippi. That nigga on them ribs. He a cold motherfucker. Okay, beef for pork ribs, though. Pork ribs. See, I like beef ribs. I don't know. You, the beef ribs. you want the big dinosaur ribs. ribs. I like those big, big, you know, meat falling off. There's this other place in Kansas City called Jack Stock, and they have gigantic beef ribs. Beef ribs and pork ribs taste totally different. I know. I prefer yeah, the beef absolutely. taste, you know? Yeah, some other shit going but I got to see these pork ribs you talking about, though. Shit. <laughs> I made some ribs so good that little boy told his daddy, Daddy, I like this chicken. <laughs> he didn't know what else to call it. Dad, I like this <laughs> shit. That's some fire shit. But you can't use any of that liquid smoke. That's not real I barbecue. Don't I don't know. I got to make sure. Uh-uh. I can, make, I can really... make the best ribs you ever had with about four ingredients. It's... What? Uh, you think I'm gonna get on this show and tell my ingredients? Four ingredients. You got me fucked up. It's probably some pre made barbecue sauce in that. Okay. Yeah, you probably use something from Kansas City and add some Sa salt. Sauce is like, the last thing you, you need if you really need do no a barbecue. Fucking sauce yeah, on yeah, yeah, there you go. Know, you, know, you, you, you know, you gotta put some sauce on the ribs. Unless you talk about that. I'm not eating my shit. I want it butt naked first. I want it no sauce first. Let me see if you really know what you do it. Then I go see what your sauce is. That's not Florida shit, though, because that's where you're from. So y'all do weird things out there. I don't know. Ribs. I don't even <laughs> eat ribs, but the time this was years ago, but when he made them ribs, when I seen how people was reacting to them ribs, I had to taste the ribs and I understood really? why they were reacting like Thank that. You. Like his father came and crept around. This is his this is his daddy. This is the nigga that birthed him. <laughs> the nigga that helped him be born. That nigga was sneaking around tr trying to get to them ribs. As soon as he came in with that tray, that nigga Pop said, nigga, you don't know nothing about that. Let me get a piece of that. You don't know nothing about that. I was like, damn, Pop, you was waiting on them. And everybody just swarmed him. I was like, man, buddy, nice like that. Hey, hey, hey it's the fucking guy right here. Credit come on, credit come dude, on. Man. Give me credit. Well, yeah. What the fuck as is you As a man, mean? you got to have one go-to thing that you just a master. Oh, yeah. As far as chef. Oh, What's yeah. that for you? Like, me steaks. Really? Yeah, it's a wrap. You're not yeah. seeing me Because I like steak. my steak rare and medium rare. You know what to do with that? Easy. Okay. Easy. I'm just making sure. I'm just yeah, you just hold you it over there like, and be like, you know? Easy. Yeah, <laughs> here you go. It ain't got to be on there long, but it's going to come out right. I but is it going to be right? Or is it, you know, it's always going to be right. It's never going to be wrong. Okay. Yeah. Just once you get the base thing down, you're done. What about you, Chico? Barbecue chicken wings. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Barbecue chicken wings. And that's that's one of the things where it don't matter where or it don't matter what your function is. If I bring those, they could be like, who made these? I don't give a fuck who it is, where it is, white people, black people, Asians. They gonna hunt you had stuff. Asian Very people eating your shit? Yes. <laughs> Birch, yes, yes. True story. Yes, barbecue chicken wings. Dang. Jay Wynn. Shut your ass up. That's the Asian you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. He what you know. gonna make for that lady? I'm known for my seven cheese macaroni. Hey.
seven cheeses. That nigga hold that guitar. He ain't never put seven cheeses in no macaroni. Hey, man. Ain't no Name nigga. the seven. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no nigga ever even been in the grocery store long enough to pick seven uh, different cheeses. Uh, sharp cheddar. <laughs> Mild cheddar. Extra sharp cheddar. <laughs> regular cheddar. What y'all not gonna do? Mozzarella. <laughs> Talk to my partner. American. Like <laughs> sharp American. Mild. American. <laughs> Pepper Jack. <laughs> Swiss. Nah, fuck with J.O.A. He probably got some free head. His shit. That nigga J.O.A. putting good in free head. His macaroni oh, and cheese. You know, I'm not gonna think. Uh, okay, I thought you were going to say, I see how I go, but I, I see. Niggas got to get exotic with at. that macaroni and cheese. I put popcorn cheese in there. <laughs> popcorn cheese? <laughs> cheese wings. Hey, bro. If I'm mad, I'd be if I walked in J.O.A. in there punching up some popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, this go on top. You ain't even gonna taste it. You ain't even gonna know it's popcorn, my nigga. Cheese it. <laughs> Only black goldfish, but you gotta put them in the mix. You Only gotta add that in the cook of about 30 minutes. It's a type of cheese. And Velveeta. <laughs> Do you have a dish that you make? Are you a cook? Yeah, I love I love to cook. I cook a lot of healthy things because it's really just me. So I was like, I just. Is that your what? way of saying your stuff is a little nasty? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. No, it's no, just no, no, no. the excuse this for why I don't say Now, okay, hold on. My responsibilities for Thanksgiving are the greens and the macaroni and cheese. Mm, okay, so, so those are important. Those are, the, those are my side. Look, look. You a side chick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sad chicks do it better. I don't I mean, know what I'm saying. Mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, well, that, yeah, I think important. that is an untapped market. I think this this should be a lady, uh, some lady who plays off of that. Those are important. You just, and call it the side chicks. Those are some of the staples for Thanksgiving. And it's a restaurant with nothing besides. Hey, man, this would be the perfect time to tell them. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back to the A5 <laughs> South Show. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, man, I'd really be out here in these streets, in traffic, on the Weather Channel, <laughs> up early, drinking coffee, yeah. watching the news. And I always tell y'all, it's all about bringing people to the trap that y'all don't know nothing about. Now, this lady right here, Come on. finest news lady come on. in America. I, I said it. I told her, I said, come hey, on. you gotta come oh, to the trap. Me. Now she done came down here, she got a whole show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the trap, Demetria. Hey, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes. All the way, thank oh, you for man. coming. Come on yeah. now. Well, you might remember me from your show out in Dallas a few years ago. You got, got the chopper on the dresser, baby. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All the way. That's, that's a classic. That's right a ghetto there. legendary song. That's I mean, the baby. Exactly. Ready to shoot. That's what that was. All the way. That was that shit. All the way. No, but I'm excited to be out here. You know, I'm hosting a new show for Revolt TV called Black Girl Stuff. You let so, yes, yes, you guys are going to have to come on the show, too. Oh, yeah. Yes. What, is, what, is, what is Black Girl Stuff? Black Girl Stuff, I mean, it's everything. On the show, we talk about social issues, fun stuff, too. And it's through the lens of basically this very diverse cast of black women who come from all different walks of life. And, I mean, it's just amazing. I feel like we're giving voices to the voiceless here. And you got to catch our next show. It's going to be dropping here in a couple of weeks. So. You know what you should do? You got black girl stuff. You should have a segment called the side chick segment where women come make sides. Oh, okay, because I was about to say you better yeah, say that because no, I don't know sides. nothing about the I'm rest talking of that. about the sides. Like, yeah. I, you, you, we just okay, got to stay with me. The sides, okay, now, they see, come and make greens and macaroni and, you know, Because we, we, we know how to make the main. Well, that's why you have the man to make the main. Then I'm going to come in here and, you know, make it everything out of you. So you got to have them sides. Then you flip the I feel like we get shorted in this deal. I remember they used to make both. They didn't. <laughs> I'm not. Fuck that half shit, man. I'm not doing that. No, I'm talking about on the grill. Turkey. I was thinking the grill. Because anything outside the grill, I'm not. I th yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? I want to get to that point where you get to have a towel over your shoulder. I think when you grill, you don't just get to have a towel over your shoulder <laughs> until you reach a certain point in life. No, no you know this is how you know you're really good on the grill. If three people call you before you put any meat on it, that's how you know. <laughs> Oh, you started cooking yet? No, nah, we ain't gonna do nothing about 2 33 right. o'clock. We on our way. And you know, shit like that. When you start getting them calls, the when people, people ask you, do when you they need got some anything yeah. and they bring it, mm -hmm. 
Cause that, that's when the shit, they like, all right, yeah, yeah, I got right. you need. When you ask somebody to run to the store and they run right to the store, they I'll come be right, right back. back. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, that's it right I'll there. be right back. That's it right there. That's a real one. Yeah. So, so how did it start for you? What did, I mean, of course, we know Kansas City, Missouri, but how did you get into doing what it is that you do? Oh, man. So I went to KU. Right? Rock okay. Chalk. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Rock Chalk, you know, well, how like you say work, it? Work, like work. Rock Chalk, Jayhawk. Yeah, that's, that's our right. chant. Yeah, you know, know. Winners, winners only, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. Let's put that out there. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. February the 18th, I will be in Savannah. GA. Yes, yes, you heard that right. At the end of the day tour, it's coming to Savannah. February 18th. What's the name of the spot? At the Johnny Mercer Theater. Boy, I've been having a ball in Oakland. I love this goddamn city. Y'all got the funniest homeless people I ever seen. I gave a nigga three dollars. He acted like those were the three he needed to not be homeless no more. Soon as I gave him the money, you didn't put me back in the motherfucking game. <laughs> nigga tried to whistle at me, didn't even whistle, just made the noise. Nephew, where are you? Come here. Let me holler at you right quick. Johnny Mercer Theater, February 18th. At the end of the day, Carlos Miller, 8 o'clock, is going down in Savannah. Hit the link, get those tickets, man. You already know. February 18th at the Johnny Mercer Theater, I will be in Savannah. Because at the end of the day, you need to come see me. What's up, world? It's your boy Chico Bean. And in case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we're currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85%. That's P E R C E N T E E R 85%. And you'll get 20% off for the first six months. Now, once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube, all of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like. 5 on the 85 and even get special offers and discount codes for 85 South Show merchandise and shows. It's only $8.50 a month or $85 for the entire year. And you can find us online at channel85.com or on your iPhone, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, and Roku. And it's even on Android for all my people with the green text. And remember, use code 85% for 20% off for a whole six months. That's channel 85. Subscribe right now. Bowling. station I started off doing traffic then I went to Vegas which is kind of like my second hometown and they started calling me traffic bay and stuff but you know I was really good at my job and then from there I got the call to Dallas and I started working there as an anchor traffic digital show host all of that and you know we just keep climbing 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 so yeah it's been a it's been a ride almost traffic 10 years. Bay. Yes, hashtag traffic bay. Look at it. Yeah. We remember it. Oh, you remember yeah, that? We also, what yeah. do you remember about it? I remember. I saw the little bit because you know you had a little thing. They were saying you wasn't supposed to be oh, like yeah. this, and yeah. Yeah, yeah chance the rapper they shows they love you, on that. Yeah, how you're not yeah. supposed to be how you are. It, yeah, like, I was just a it. body shaming type of thing where a lady didn't, you know, felt like I was too big to be wearing the clothes that I was wearing, and so... Nah, her dude was watching too yeah, close. Yeah, that nigga was yeah. watching too much. <laughs> yeah, he had the TV news in there. Hey, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I need to tell you, man! 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 T
said the wrong shit. I need to know what the temperature is. It's traffic. Yeah, I, fuck it. Shut up. Nah, I've been with you for 22 years. I asked you for two fucking minutes. A day. All the way. Well, yeah, some people even have hit me up, you know, <laughs> saying things about my traffic segments. I don't even know if I want to get into it, but just crazy things. I mean, working on the news, working on television. I mean, you get all of those crazy messages yeah, and DMs. Man. I've had people, couples, come at me like, would you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying, couples come to me like, your segment really... Gets us, gets us going. And I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. Oh, Who some knew? Traffic. Some traffic on 435 would have people losing their minds. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. I understand. I, yeah, I, I don't know. It. I don't know. What even all that? I'm like, I shop at Dillard's all the time. I, I don't it. know Dillard's I time. Understand. I'm like, <laughs> I understand, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I understand, man. Niggas be just bored at the house, man. Anything they can spark that relationship up, man. You never know. Nigga gonna turn that TV on, that traffic on, like, baby, come in here. <laughs> you imagine the motherfuckers in jail, the whole jail is just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got nowhere to go. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy? You worried about traffic like a motherfucker. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Freeway backed up like a motherfucker. Oh, but a lot of my supporters have, you know, sent me jail mail and stuff, prison mail. I've gotten a lot of that. What the hell you do with it? I, well, first of all, I mean, a lot of them are really nice. Sometimes they'll get out. Like, this happened a lot in Dallas. Oh, like, I've been working shit. out, and the guy just got out of jail, and he was like, hey, I used to watch you all the time. Like, it kept me going, and I'm just like, I bet I'm glad you know. I gotta get the hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Turn the goddamn camera around, man. Stop, bro. Stop. Uh, Stop, bro. Fight for my freedom. Stop. What's wrong? Uh, <laughs> Keep me going. You can't. I can't. No, but it was, you know. It, man, stop. That was, that was a dope thing. There was even some people who were missing. Can't believe artists. you did. Yeah. 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 What? I think it was in jail. What else were they doing? They, he, she, my oh. updates were very informative, Chico. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, there was some of that, but then some of the weirdos, too. Unfortunately, you get that in every business, like the people who become stalkers eventually. So How do you navigate that, that as, a, oh, as a woman? In the, I mean, it just as a woman yeah, doing anything, easy. you have to navigate that. But you're a public figure, so yeah. one of the things that people that aren't public figures don't understand is when you go out, you only see who you see, but everybody sees mm -hmm. you. So how do you navigate, you know, living your normal life, being somebody that you already get it from what you do, and then being a lovely lady? Like, how do you okay. deal with that? Uh, I'm going to be honest. It, it, it's not been easy. I mean, in Dallas, you know, I love Dallas, Texas. The people are so supportive of me. But some of the worst experiences in my life happened in Dallas, Texas. I had three adult men that, you know, I had to pursue legal action against people that I'd never met in my entire life that were stalking me actively. There was one man who came to the TV station like 3.30 in the morning. That's when we're at work. And he came dressed in a tux um, with a sign saying, Demetri, will you marry me with the ring? And the security was so convinced by what he looked like and his whole, you know, get up like, oh, Demetri must know him. They almost let him into the studio. And this is somebody who had been following me. I mean, sending really, you know, profane, really terrible things to me. It just was very, very scary. Like, you know, it's even to this day, like I still have to deal with it. And these are people I've never spoken to aside from saying, the police told me to tell you to stop or you're gonna go to jail and they don't stop. And so it just was that constantly, and it's something that I'm constantly having to deal with. And so I'm a very friendly person if you catch me in public, but sometimes I'm like, yo, just, I gotta be careful because there's a lot of people out there you don't even know that they've sent you 20,000 messages and they're coming to you in person and you don't realize that they've been stalking you for years. And they and didn't took everyone that you ain't answered you know. personal. Like, I know you know what I said. I know and you some look, people get yeah. really angry and men who threaten violence and stuff. I mean, that and all of the dozens of you know, pornographic images. Well, it's more than dozens, she hundreds. Got, she got niggas Videos. out here like Slim Off Players Club. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> Right. So, yeah, it's hard. It's hard, yeah. you know. So be, you know, just be a person. Yeah. Hey, man, just because you see somebody every day don't mean you know that person. That don't mean, like, Well, yeah, there were people who would think I'd be speaking live. to them in code doing my traffic reports. They'd be like, oh, you said 1408 E71st. So those, those was the first digits of your phone number right there, right? And they would be sending me stuff from that prison. Just weird stuff. No, I don't know. Oh. I, was, I was just given an address for a traffic report. Avoid this area. What if he got right? it right? He wasted his chance to win the lottery. Where would you <laughs> receive it? Hold on. Where would you receive your jail mail at? You know, some people would send it to the TV station, and then some people had found my home address, you know? And so oh, that was really, really shit. scary. And so then it's like, oh, I got to get the police involved. And so it's like constantly a police matter. 
You know, because you have to How'd document, you find document my address. But you're here now. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I'm you're here now, or you're still in Dallas? I'm, I'm here in Atlanta right now because Don't that's where him. the show is filmed. Don't but we already they already broadcasted, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna saying? show it later. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm always, you know, I'm I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm everywhere, right? But okay. it's like, yeah, we shoot the show here, so when I'm working. Okay. Is it a love for Ooh. what you do that keeps you from saying fuck this shit and you know not mm-hmm. being a public person anymore? Because I'm sure that's that's traumatizing, you know what I mean? Oh, You're yeah. getting unsolicited everything like how is it just simply the love for what you do or do you have an ultimate goal that you're trying to get to that you ultimate just ultimate goal all the way chico i mean i don't let anything stop me it's nothing that you can say to me i mean you could try to scare me do weirds whatever i don't you know this is my path this is what i'm built yeah. for and i'm from kansas city like you know as we grow up a little tougher yeah. i don't know but i'm just like i don't i don't play that and I, you know, I'm, I'm getting the things, and I'm just like, I could start talking that, you know, talk right now, but I, I, don't, I don't play about that. Don't, so don't even do it. Don't, you know, yeah. you know, you know, don't try me, like, you know. But um, yeah. Other than that, I think that people who follow me, who supported me over the years, like, they know my heart. I'm a good, strong person, and so try it if you want. Yeah. yeah. You got a show called Black Girl Stuff. Yes. Welcome back to Black Man <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. So-called black man, we didn't even know we had a so-called black man stuff, man. You know, we were just talking about, you know, inflation and the, you know, the housing crisis and things of that oh, nature. Because yeah. you know, us as black men, we have to be worried about shit like that. Hell yeah. So what, how you feel about the Atlanta traffic? I got to get your perspective oh, on wow. this. You the traffic lady. Oh my God, it's you crazy. You thought you were gonna come in and not talk traffic with us? <laughs> right here, yes. <laughs> on 75 South. No, hold on. Um, yeah, no, it's it's crazy. I mean, the thing that people warn me about coming to Atlanta is like, don't have road rage because you never know what somebody might do, right? And I kind of have a temper and stuff. Like I'm definitely that road, person. You got from road rage. Oh, you gotta like, relax. Yeah, I had to relax. I was like, let me relax because I was that like, is, oh, you don't yeah. ever know. That is gotta so, cool out. It's out of the, the traffic. <laughs> They got road rage. Yeah, That's I, dangerous I right there. Right, right. right. But out here, I heard that, I mean, you just got to be really careful how you move. And one of my friends used to live out here. So for me, I'm just like, okay, let me let me chill. Like, you know, I've had people do some crazy things to me on the road, but I'm just like. What did, what, what did your road rage develop? I was listening to T Grizzly first day out, and it just hit me so hard that I was like, yo. That's when it started. <laughs> That's the exact moment when it started. You think it's rain on my downfall? Yeah. <laughs> and the blessing, she was like, fuck these cars. <laughs> That's crazy. No, I just listen to my music real loud, everything. That's kind of how I grew up. Like, you know, for me, I just go around a lot of people with 15s in their vehicles. You had the spinners on the wheels and stuff. So for me, it's all about that, that vibe. So I vibe grew so heavy in my vehicle. Video. Right. Yeah, that's how I feel. Right. You know? Just roll like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Literally, so for me, I'm like, it gets you in that mode. I'm like, well, go, hold on, chill down, I'll chill out, you know, you know, put yeah. on some usher or something. Relax. It's yeah. not that serious. Don't let that music hype you up now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Don't that, let, yeah. I'm listening to Lil Baby right now, like, you know, no. Nah, yeah, Lil Baby won't get to the bag. He won't get he won't get back to making money, man. No, I know. It's, yeah. it's been it's been amazing though. I love that there's so much culture out here and history. It's been great. I feel like, you know, I need a little bit more time to do some exploring and stuff, but you guys yeah, are gonna man. have to show me. The atmosphere is just yeah. in Atlanta is just different. Yeah. It's it is. Especially when you, you know, doing something. So mm-hmm. it's just tell it's people always good when you have time, a job. Man. Yeah. So so you know, when you you're doing, you do, you went to journalism school, yes, so I'm taking you a communications major in Journalism college. major. A journalism oh, major, yeah. okay. So how did you go from journalism and going that path to going to Revolt and doing a show that's more, you know, entertainment based? Yeah, I'm, I'm an entertainer. Demetri the Entertainer has a nice ring to it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm- You like Cedric? Uh, yeah, I know, Demetri the Entertainer, he's Cedric, I'm there you go. for you. No, yeah. um, I love him though, but uh, I just feel like uh, it was the right next move for me. I, I don't want to be typecast as just the news lady. Like that's, I'm, I'm more than that. And that's never what I just wanted to do, but I looked at some of the people who- She run the bag up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. There's so much more that I have to offer, and I think this is an exciting opportunity because they encourage you to have your most truest voice at Revolt. I feel like it's in the name of the network, Black Owned Network. It's, it's really amazing to be there, and I just feel like there's so many opportunities here in Atlanta, and I'm just really excited to be here. You know, and people have been so gracious and kind, and you know, I just been eating a lot, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I've just been enjoying it, though. I mean, I feel like you never know when you move, like what you're going to find. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you go to Kansas City, Missouri, you might find you a nice girl or something like that. You could I, I hope I find one. a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, know. Man, I hope I find a couple of nice Kansas City girls. <laughs> There's some nice girls there. Uh, I, uh, yeah. What do you mean by nice? Nice, just good, upstanding, wholesome. 
Wholesome? Wholesome women, yes. Yeah, some huh? good wholesome women coming out of Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. They got a little wrong rage. Tough, just a little spice, <laughs> like some spice, you know what okay. I mean? Like, but me, I'm the oldest of four, right? I've got three brothers, I grew up, yeah, uh, like kind of. All oldest. we did was play dozens. I don't know what y'all call it out here, but all we did was roast people for a living. Yeah, That's like Rose, all we did. Joan, all that, yeah. Yeah. I know. Big time is video yeah. and on Wild. That's what we did. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So that's why I love the show. Like, yeah. Yeah. You ready? All the way. Now, being a, a, you know, I went to school for, you know, I was a communications major, but I thought I was going to be a newscaster when I graduated. That's what I thought. Bro, you should have did it. You have I the mean, perfect but, voice. It's I mean, never too late. About, it's never too late. But Man, the, thing about, it is, the yeah. thing about it right is, right here. Oh yeah, I used to be, I used to be the sports anchor. Do Welcome shit. back to Ram News. I'm Anthony Bean here with your update about the Winston Salem State versus Livingstone game. Unfortunately, we took the L, but we still put up a good fight. That's what that's that's what I used to do. All the way. All the way. But, but there's, a difference. there's a difference in being on camera in that capacity versus what I'm sure you're doing at Revolt. Mm -hmm. How did you make that adjustment? Well, for me, I've always fought to be my most authentic self, right? And yeah. in the news world, you have to kind of earn your Limiting, voice, yeah. right? And I did that, though, because when you come in and you really take what you do seriously and you're great at your job, and I say that, I'm like, yeah, I was getting to people, you know, to work on time all the time. Do you feel me? Like, no, I'm kidding. But also, but no, that's the truth. I'm serious about that. And also, <laughs> people being you can't, man. hell yeah. You can't be late doing the traffic. <laughs> no. Oh, shit, y'all. Hey, uh, no, this shit been people. going for a minute. I was saving people time. <laughs>
Please. You know, can't do. I love it. <laughs> I was just gonna say it back to you. Yeah, what do you mean? Can't do. Oh, okay. How are you so doing? You, okay. You That's what's and the up. response when you say can't do because we're teaching you a little bit of Igbo here. Like okay. I'm not the Igbo expert, but I know some things that my okay. dad taught me. You respond, oh Dima. Oh Dima. Just fine. So your dad is Nigerian. My dad is Nigerian. Yes. <laughs> Have any of you guys been to Nigeria before? No, I haven't oh, had man. the pleasure. I want to go. Now there's some beautiful women in Nigeria. Yeah, I know, now you can. Man. I yeah. want to learn how to I get them credit cards, boy. <laughs> 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 Scamming, though. You talking about the scamming? Boy, they kicked it up a notch. I don't want to do it. I just want to see how you do it. They kicked it up a notch. Bro, just give me the game. Just so I can know what to look for when it's about to happen. Be like, all right, when the number turned to what? I bet. Appreciate you, bro. I told you, the first people scamming like that in Atlanta was Nigerians. I seen Nigerian dude. He paid for his gas with a hotel key. I said, Holiday Inn got credit card? He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this right now. What? Hey, what? I said, oh, they, they scamming, scamming. They scamming, scamming, nigga. And then you've met some of my family, the Nigerian princes, too. Oh, oh they you yes. an email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they almost got me, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck, said, my uncle died and left me 55 million. <laughs> <laughs> All I need to do is respond back. Oh. He be oh. your account. Okay, if he can send it to your account, he gonna let you keep. <laughs> no. Boy, I mean, hey. You should make a pay for Y'all are a mess. It's thing. a beautiful place, though. You should go check it out. You should go check it out. You have to visit sometime. You been when you been? Oh, yes, no. I, I, do, I just want to go to Africa. I want to hit a you few countries, to. man. I want to hit a few countries. Like I've been what? Nigeria on the list. Really? I've been to Africa. Yeah, I've been, been to Egypt. Been. I've been to Northern Africa. I haven't wow. been to, you know, uh, I want to go to Nigeria. I want to go to Central Africa and South Africa. We have a big following in South Africa. Oh, wow. They rock with us down there. They oh, rock man, with us what? in Ghana. They rock I mean, with us in Nigeria. I mean, they rock just, with just in Tanzania. South Africa specifically, though. Like, I've yeah. seen, I've gotten videos of people in South Africa, like, in parties and groups of people, and they got us playing, like, on the TVs and shit in the park. I would have cried if somebody sent me some shit like that. What's gonna be crazy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't remember that video? They put they tagged all of us. You gotta on find it. it. Yeah, yeah. He so cried at the time. He just I don't cried. remember. He just don't remember. Yeah. But, that's um, the type of shit that's beautiful, man. It is beautiful. You guys They'd be have to all go. up on the mountain with their 85. I'd be like. <laughs> oh, they took you overseas? That's that's crazy too. Oh, yeah. And just see him in the airport. Seeing somebody in the airport with the stuff all being oh, like. Oh. Somebody sent me some shit from Russia though. What? Yeah, they was watching oh, the wow. shit over there. Right? Well, you weren't supposed to accept that. Don't, don't yeah. say that on here. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said it was rush delivery. It was rush rush delivery. The UPS yeah. man was rushing right. when he brought it. Vladimir Putin let this shit ride, nigga. We good. Yeah, you right. He, he could easily block they gotta this shit. They got to give us back Brittany Griner first, though. Come on, man. She's still yeah. over there? They got to give yeah. us back yeah, our yeah, girl. Yeah, she's still yes. over there. Yeah, they got to get yeah. her. Yeah. They All the stuff y'all got on the table right here, that's, you know. Hey, let me see the light, yeah. too. And they got to get her back, and they got to let the people go over here that's still locked up for mm -hmm. weed. If you could get weed and you could trade that shit on the stock market, then what the fuck we talking about? Why now people still I'm locked sad, up bro. I, damn, my f shit. That's crazy. They do need to let her go, man, because as soon as she get back, we're going to smoke so much weed for her. <laughs> and she going to smoke it with you. I'm saying, like, it's going to be a blowback. Oh, yeah. yeah there you go. Now, now, like, being in the industry, you know, that you're in, the mm -hmm. entertainment industry, are there, is there anybody who you grew up watching or that you watch now that motivates you to, Yeah. You know, who are some of those people for you? Jay-Z, Lil Ooh. Wayne. Okay. Kanye is it all West. rappers? <laughs> yeah, I'm not You are the most gangster Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Like, I, people ask me that all the time, and it's like, who is probably <laughs> expecting to hear, you know, some famous journalist? I thought you were going to say it. Connie Chung. No. No, I didn't know. Like, I was just, that's all the person. Oh, <laughs> She's a real yeah. person. That's oh, what yeah. She said Connie Chung from Family Guy, <laughs> my name. <laughs> that's crazy. Isn't that the real? Okay, I might be wrong. No, she a real news. That's Maury's wife. Maury Poe's wife. She was the news no, lady. But, but, okay. She well, was, I watched too much person. Family Guy. Sorry. She was the shit. No, okay, no. I know that, but dang. Okay, but well, see, that just shows you what, for me, what inspires me is music. Great. Like, I love music. Like, I sit here, talk about the college dropout, or I talk about the black albums from my most favorite. I was talking about, uh, I have this uh, tweet that's always been popular. 
um, about J. Cole, and I love J. Cole, but I said, you know, it's Friday, I ain't trying to hear no J. Cole, okay? And so people just retweeted that like a storm, but I love J. Cole. One of my favorite projects from him ever, you know, Friday Night Lights, because it's inspiring to me. You see the hustle, the hunger, and the journey, and that's where I'm at. So, so I love it. I'm, I'm the black album, like, I'm like, yo, I love I love that. Have College you ever dropout to the last blueprint? call. Of course. Oh yeah. A blueprint, Reasonable yeah. doubt. All I mean all of that. I love yeah. it. But for me, the black album, I just there's so many songs on there like, you know, when I think about Encore, you know, when I come back like Joy and wearing the four or five and ain't to play games with you. There's so many inspirational lines there. Probably maim you. Blow you the smith of rain. Yeah. Take one for, for your team. team. Yeah. And I need you to remember one thing. I came, I saw a conquer. So if you want this encore, I need you to scream until you, yeah, you know, so we can quote Hove all day. Yeah. Like, but Jay that's is, the kind of stuff that inspires you you. me. Jay okay. is one of the, the blueprint yeah. to me, to, in, in my opinion, the blueprint is the, the best rap album ever made. From Favorite home line? Uh, he said all time. Uh, uh, no, uh, as far as structured album, mm -hmm. it's not my personal favorite mm -hmm. as far as my personal, just in my, you know, this list, but yeah. as far as structured albums from one to the bottom, like it's really a blueprint. Mm -hmm. You get from the first song, if you listen to it from one all the way down to the last song, it's literally a blueprint of how to make it as a black man in America, no matter what your, your situation is. Then Add that number up with the one I, I said before. Yeah. You were now looking at one smart black boy. Mama ain't raised no fool. Put me anywhere on God's green hey. earth. I triple my worth. You know what I mean? I love it. Shit. See, that's, yeah, how, but that's what inspires me right there. So for me, it's just, I love it. Like, I, I, I just I just do, man. I could quote whole Kanye all day, and I do it in a lot of my interviews. And I'm just like, those lines mean so much to me. Like, last call from the dropout, like, for me, it gives me chills. You know what I'm saying? You think we can still get that deal with Rockefeller? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's part I just, of the culture huge. now. It's, yeah. it's so much. Like, I remember when ESPN, that was first the little thing when Stuart Scott might say some shit from a song or somebody, yeah. then it just became a staple, and it's yeah. like, yeah, now it's like it reaches so many people because it's been going for so long, and it's just still no, time. It's dope, yeah. and I feel like being here in Atlanta, I mean, in the, the history of music that's here, I mean, it's just amazing. What you I know about dope. Atlanta history? Just, just what, I mean, don't hold on. Don't be quoting me on, you know, years and stuff or nothing, but we talk about the music and the artists that have come here, the legends, the icons that live yeah. here today even. I mean, it's just, it's dope. I always would say that it was a cash money, no limit, bad boy, raise me. That's, that's how I feel. Right. Okay, so with that cash being money, music. Yeah. that shit was an era. That's, that's you know what I mean? Like, it yeah, was. Cash Money took over it in was. the prime, Woo. prime fucking time, Woo. bro. It, it was nine, perfect. Nine to it, was, it was, with so much negativity in music, like, you could have looked at Cash Money for the negative shit, but I just looked no. at the positive shit. Oh, Them yeah. niggas looked I got a platinum helicopter. I'm trying to put platinum eyebrows on, on these, these hoes. Like, yeah. What? Yeah, I'm finna dip a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finna take a brown hoe and dip a platinum. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, bought a platinum out. football oh, field. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just that music it, itself, you like here. you listen to that, yeah. like, man, that. Man, plus they I, be young. Manifesting. Manifesting. I told your fucking ass I be back in a brand new Fleetwood Cadillac. <laughs> License plate say money making nigga for show. She live by your boy house kissing, kissing on these hoes. Home. These bras want stars. Big dicks down in the drawers. Seven days a week, seven brand new cars. Yeah, I done, done it. Pulled the GS 300. She was in front of the navigator. Uh, like, the navigator. You're not a hater. The phone second flow so you can see the motherfucking big timers car show. Now on the left side, you got the brand new beds. And on the right side, bitches shaking ass for ears. And in the middle, niggas throwing 20s and 10s. Okay, and on the top, niggas drinking. Drinking juices with gin, juices with gin, juices with gin. Lows. New cars, pretty bra, <laughs> neighborhood superstar, <laughs> going far. Yeah, to the Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know that is my shit. That's but good stuff. With Great. that, with that type of influence, like coming from the news world, I know you're dealing with a lot of tenured people, a lot of old yeah. mentality. How do you? 
how do you navigate getting those people to see what you see and see the value in what you they think? Don't always, they don't always see that. You know, I mean, I, for me, I've always listened to the kind of music that I've listened to, and I always fight for this new idea of what professionalism looks like in the workplace. There are a lot of people who will say, oh, you're listening to Jay-Z. I remember one time I did this post, uh, what was it, Bad and Bougie, Migos, and I was singing Quavo's part, and my boss had called me in at the time in Vegas. She was like, do you want to be a news anchor? I'm like, yeah, but this is a really hard verse right now. Like, I really like this. So, like, you know, it, it became like that. But for me, you was doing it on the air. Oh no, no, no! I didn't, I didn't sing that part on there. I was just singing it in a video, and I posted it to my Instagram, and then oh. she, you know, wasn't too fond of it. There's a time when I was on the news, and people were asking me what kind of music I listen to when I work out. I was like, you know, a little Jeezy, Yeezy, and I got pulled aside and said, you know, Demetria, you know, we don't like all that that club talk on television. I'm like, oh. what the hell do you mean club, club talk? talk? Let me talk, what are you talking about? She's like, well, you know how, she was scrambling to find because she, what she was saying is that you're talking too black for television. That's what they do now, club Yeah, talk. people make fun of my voice and say I have a traditional news lady voice. This is just my voice right here. So it was funny as hell to hear her say that. I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> but it, it's like that, She right? probably meant to say plug talk and yeah. got it confused. <laughs> she <laughs> really <laughs> wanted to say, I'm not one of your little friends. Yes, that's what she said. <laughs> She She meant blood talk. Let that she be the last <laughs> fucking time you drink Quavo at my station. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't care who your Migos are, okay? <laughs> care yeah. less. Next time you bring some Quavo to work, you're out of here. <laughs> also, now you're a Latina. Yeah. <laughs> you bring some Quavo to work, you're going to have to take off. That's what you're going to have to do. <laughs> and, and we're not going to offset your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh exactly. my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you just fight for it. And I feel like a lot of young people who are entering that workforce, right? Because, I mean, there's a certain standard that's been set there, but you have to prove yourself. And I, and I did, all right? Like I, like I said, I'm, I take what I do very seriously, everything that I do. And so I'm really that, I was really that good, right? The, you know what I mean? I was really that good in my job. And people think, oh, it's just traffic. It's like, no, I worked with the state. I worked with the county. Like, I was really involved in the community and getting real traffic problems fixed. You know, okay, teaching people things. I got to know this. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. When you're at your best, you can do great things. But sometimes life gets you bogged down and you may feel overwhelmed or like you're not showing up in the way you want to. Working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of yourself. Because when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything life throws at you. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com 85South today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com 85South. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 South. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 South. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. I hope you're having a good day. Try some of these candles from my favorite candle brand, Good Day Scents Candle Company. They are black owned and have lots of different scents to choose from. Use my code L-O-U-S. That's Los. And get 25% off your entire order or offer. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got scents like vanilla, pineapple sage, which is my favorite, Egyptian amber, all types of freaky shit like black love. You gotta go on there and check them out. So when you see these candles, just know that I'm having a good day. You know, these candles have been approved by everybody that we ever presented them to, from Snoop and even Beyonce posted these on the website. This one right here, I think. So go hit the website and grab you some of these candles. Look, I don't want this to be weird or nothing, but what you doing February the 17th? It's like three days after Valentine's Day. Because I'm going to be in North Charleston, South Carolina at the North Charleston Performing Arts Center, baby. That's at 8 o'clock p.m. It's going crazy. Carlos Miller is bringing jokes like you've never seen jokes before February the 17th. I never yeah. knew this. What the hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, about, yeah, I didn't think see. about it. Okay. I, then I thought about the traffic uh, cop. But like, who the fuck is calling in the traffic? Like, I wonder if the news know about this. 
Like, does well, you okay, the so news lady? Scanners. Do you got like a network of like tipsters and shit? Well, there, hell yeah, there are people like that, of course. And then there are also you got a Batman computer. That too, yeah. And I get, they got the bat line to the traffic news studio, right? So they just call us straight in right there. I'm like, oh, for real, thank you. But there yeah. also is a helicopter as well. Some stations have helicopters that they have the budget for it, but it's a scanner. Have we have a police scanner. We did sometimes, in the, depending on the station I was at, sometimes they'd well, launch it into the air and we'd have those aerial shit views. on there. You got the oh, police yeah. scanner. We you have wait, the police no. scanner. Like, you, you were the police scanner. Yeah, drone, 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 drone cheap now. Yeah. Regular yeah. calls know, come through. Yeah. Yeah. Too. yeah. You be hearing some shit. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. Turn it off. We live. We live. Turn it off. They have all of that. They this have- motherfucker's <laughs> fan. Hey, switch channel 43. Switch channel 43. <laughs> That's crazy. They do. I mean, it's 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 cool. You know, you make it what it is, and I feel like I always make the be- best out of everything that I do. I mean, it was it was cool. You know, it's it, cool. Is and it I easier? That. So you're done with the news completely? Yeah, I don't want to do news anymore unless it's on a bigger scale. I still appreciate news, but as far as local news, no, I'm never gonna do local you news. You want to do Good Morning again. America? You're saying never. Bigger stuff. Good local Morning America. Local news? No, I won't ever do local news ever again. Yeah. You I wanna, get it. She want to be on yeah. Good Day Today, I have NBC. Cool dreams. No, it doesn't even have to be that. I just feel like you just continue to build your audience so that you can have doors available to you. There are do a lot of things that I want to do. Good Morning America type shit? Good Morning America. No. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's what you like to do. I mean, just, I, I, you know, whatever comes, you know, my way, that that's the right fit. And so I'm grateful for this opportunity here at Revolt right now. But there's a lot of things I want to do. I want to do some acting. I want to do some singing. There's you a lot in the of right things city. Exactly. So, so you can you can say you can blow a little bit. We we done heard a few little things. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I mean, on the gram, I feel like I done heard. Oh you, yeah, like, they roasted me you, for you one video, but I don't take it off. I'm like, you can't punk me. Like, I don't care. It's gonna be up there. You had some some people You were singing it. on the shit. Yeah, and I they do. Ain't I, like I put it. some things. People be hating. Like, oh. what do you mean? Like hating? Well, they go, who who are they? Fuck them. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I'm not worried about it. I'm like, you yeah. can't bully me into taking a post yeah. down. I'm a grown ass woman. What are we really talking about yeah. right now? Like, <laughs> come on. I, and I don't really say much because for me, I'm like, it's just, it's too easy. Like, I, yeah. I don't, I don't say, I don't get into debates with people online like that. I'll, if it's in an educational way, if I want to teach you something or, you, you know, it's a teaching teach moment. You can't teach people shit on the camera. That's true, but, they some, don't, but, but the thing is, is other people are reading and it's like, okay, I see where Demetrius coming from. You're learning something about me. I'm teaching you about mm-hmm. me and my perspective. And I feel like my audience, they want to know more about Demetrius. Where does Demetrius stand on this issue? So it's like, right. now you know, right? But they're ignorant ass people who will delete their comments. After you say something, I try never to just, I'm not cussing anybody out online. I could, but I don't. That's Look. a good point that you just made. What do you consider Look to be your- Look at you with your interview skills over here, your Chico. Audience. You're yeah. up here nailing hey, it, I love hey. it. Hey, what do you consider to be your audience? What makes somebody your audience in your perspective? Man, there are people who've been rocking with me since my first job in Kansas City. I feel like people who are interested in what I'm talking about, invested in what I'm saying, the people who follow me on my social channels, whether you support me, hate me, whatever you're doing on there, you know what I mean? I just feel like I'm putting this out there. I'm giving you content. I'm showing you more about who I am, what I'm about, what I'm trying to do. And that's that's how I feel. My audience, you know, on Instagram in particular, I mean, you know, big cities. New York is the number one, and I've actually never been to New York. Isn't that crazy? Why not? I don't, because I, I didn't have time for a long time, and whenever I had vacation from news, Wait, you know, wait, work, never. Huh? What? You've never been in New York? I've never been in New York, but New York people rock with me, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my number one following is from New York City on Instagram. Isn't that crazy? You gotta go. I am gonna go. Now I'm on the East Coast, I can go, but it was hard, like, that work schedule, I was working 3.30 in the morning, so like, you know, noon, you get home, you're a zombie, you're tired, you don't have much vacation. Nobody tell you to pick that schedule? I know, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, they you could have been late night traffic, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's the easy way. job. Yeah, hey, y'all niggas, slow down. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, 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 whoa. You know, <laughs> all right, all right, man. Y'all are a mess. Y'all are a mess. But no, it's should They should have put the red lights on the traffic, the ones that take a long ass time to change. Out here, the lights take forever to change. In Vegas, they no, change quick. No, that should quick. be making. I yeah. run two minutes, them motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm man, not waiting the whole they, time. They, they threw a wrench in the picture. game with them cameras. I'm from DC, that man. That shit is that's a bad. hustle, that's, that's man. Yeah, that's they made good. like twenty million dollars off camera phone pictures from speeding on the man. That shit, and then it's like they get you to where if you stop. Even you ain't run the light, but if your wheel is on the white yes, line, yes. Fah, fah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Light yeah. your shit up, man. Yeah. Hey, you, you know, see that shit? Wait, wait, and your wait, dumb wait. ass think it's, oh, I guess it's lightning. No. Nah, uh, you bro. know it ain't lightning. No. That shit, I mean? I'm telling you, bro, ain't nothing like that shit ruined wherever <laughs> you was on your way too fast. You don't even want to go no more. No, you driving that. that shit, foo foo. You like, fuck. Damn. Now, the picture yeah. be so clear, you can't dispute it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hanging out the window on my shit. I'm like, oh, this is me. <laughs> that shit I'm happy that hasn't happened to me yet, because I in Vegas, they do not have those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Do they have them here in Atlanta? Some places. Some places really? I've seen them. Yeah. Just I'm, I'm always scared. Fuck I'm them cameras, a man. I don't believe in that type of shit. That kind I of surveillance? I feel like if the motherfuckers didn't catch you in real life, they shouldn't be able to just say shit. Right. Can't, you got to no, you know. that ain't that, the way man. it is no more. You should yeah. be. If you ain't I catch see. a motherfucker in real life, you shouldn't be able to say shit. I had that same theory about the helicopter. The police be cheating, man. They don't post they to use them cheating. helicopters they not on them dogs. Why Fuck all no, that shit. Dogs was a wrench in the game. I told you, the dogs go. They, they not real. They don't yeah, exist. Get yeah. that out your head. Ain't no fucking drug dogs. Not a drug what? dog. I'm talking there about the dog are. they let loose to come find they, your ass in that trash can. Not in the like, capacity officer, that they I use. I won that this man. round. <laughs> Why you? You know what I'm saying? I no, won no. this round, officer. You're like, no, give what? up again. Yeah, like, bro, I catch me the next time. We gonna see each other again. I won this round. You gonna cheat and let the dog loose? Right, man. They be putting their crap. You talking shit. about? You talking about the dog that go get your ass? Yeah, Those exactly. that, that's yeah. that's oh, yeah. That's the dog. That's a man. But the drug dogs that you talking about? Sniff shit, they don't do that shit. They never. Nah, I don't know. I feel like those, I've, I've they good for two hours out the day. Chases and, and seen it, and yeah, you're not getting away. Oh, you done did the high like speed chase. Like I've seen it, the high speed before? chase. Yes, it appears this person is veering off the roadway in a residential area. Yeah, I've seen it. Crazy. Like four people hop out the car. Like oh, yeah, y'all aren't getting away. Nah, Helicopter's right there. You're not getting bird. away. The helicopter ain't getting away. Thermal imaging kick in. You can't get away from that bird, man. That bird is cheat code, man. That but bird you don't need to worry about that. You're no, like a Sunday but driver. No, really? no, 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 no,
relationship. <laughs> you know that nigga love you. Oh, his heart broke. <laughs> he at the house right now. Linked into the TV. Oh, he better be acting like a woman when you get home. <laughs> so what are we doing? <laughs> He's sitting at the house. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I came to talk with you again. <laughs> hey, softly streaming oh. in the window. <laughs> okay, take it back. I love you, babe. I'm sorry. We're t- no. I'm just kidding. No, I'm single. I'm single. No, no, no. And it, is it hard to find people? I feel like there are a lot of people that hit me up. And, and it, yeah, there's a lot of people that hit me up. I mean, it's kind of hard to choose. It's like walking into the ice cream store. Like, damn, it's all these flavors. I don't even know if I want none no more. I'm gonna go home. Can't uh, choose. It's okay. a good problem to have. <laughs> Baskin and Robin. <laughs> 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 only two flavors. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfuckers is walking past the ice cream like. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's just, it will. How much for want... one scoop? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just put a sprinkle in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's then it's the motherfucker that just keep getting them little spoons. Yeah, let me try this real quick. I'm lying right now. Let me try the chocolate again. <laughs> <laughs> you said that one got nuts in it? No, no, that one got it. Get a little bit of that one. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Give me some of the chunky monkey. So you see all my rings. So you see the green one. Blow white on. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all are killing me. Try that orange one again. (laughs) (laughs) They say it coming to cold or hot, right? (laughs) Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I want. You don't got baseball (laughs) mitts. You don't got baseball (laughs) mitts. That's a a good problem to have, though. So so you say. You don't remember baseball mitts with the gumball mitts? It's difficult. I mean, it's not. It is because there's, there's a lot of people who hit me up on the daily, and it's very hard to like. I don't, I'm, what am I supposed to do? I can't, who are you? Like, I don't know how these people I mean, are. Some people are crazy. I think that, that goes, that's more your responsibility. You have to know what you don't want and then what you want will come to you easier. There are some people who like hit me up and I'm like, I just don't, I don't know, I don't want my name attached to people. There's people who, you know, maybe more popular and stuff like this. And it's like, for me, you know, you're not about to be out there like, oh yeah, you know, I, I smashed Traffic Bay and all that. Like, I'm not like, you know, I don't like that. Like for me, I feel like it's hard being a woman because guys are the ones that always stand to benefit. Like, oh yeah. I had her, I had her, me, it's like... That ain't no man, no, 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 but I mean, and people take that personally. But, and it but do you tell them the reason you don't want to be seen with them? Yeah, but I feel like people... Tell them they <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Say, I don't want to go out <laughs> like that. Oh, man. <laughs> I want to go out like we get some shit from somewhere and we go back in. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you don't get out the car at the same time. I get out of the car. I don't get out of the car the same time you get out of the car. You gonna go in and pick up the food. Matter of fact, get in the back and I'm gonna act like I drove the Uber. <laughs> so I'm separate. Yeah, meet me. Like yeah, 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 we made it. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga be walking around the corner. Hello, darkness. <laughs> through the mud are you being specific to men who you will have to encounter in your work I just feel like because any you. man that you've been with can do that this is true and that's why it's so it, it, it's kind of rough because it's like i like to if i'm gonna date somebody i like them to have something to lose like i have to lose in the public realm 
there are some people who, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, so it's kind of like on an even keel there, but I, but anybody can do you scandalous, like you said, it really doesn't matter. But for me, there's some people who have reputations attached to their name and it's like, oh, they've been wanting to take me out. And I'm like, I, I don't know about all that because, you know, I'm not trying to just look like, you know. I mean, well, uh, it, if you say you don't like the, f and this is just, from what you just said, if you say you don't like the fact that somebody can drag your name through the mud, yeah. why would you allow somebody else's name to be dragged through the mud no, before you find out? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, because I've never done that to anybody. You can't control that, really, though. I've yeah, never, I mean, no, I've never done that. I know, it just, for me, it's just kind of a... I feel like some people don't have an appreciation for it. Okay, I have a lot. I have a lot to lose all the time, right? And it's not as easy being a woman. I feel like I feel like, like I said, it's usually the men who benefit from being able to say, like, oh, I had her. Women aren't really the ones to be like, oh, I had him. Had him. You're gonna be called a slut. You're gonna be called all these kinds of things. And I just feel like, for me, I like to limit that a little bit and be very selective of people who are really gonna appreciate me and not use me as an accessory to say, oh, look who I've been with. I'm just gonna have her around like this because there's some people who. Yeah. view you that way so I have to find somebody who really values me everything that I bring to the table and appreciates me as a person because that's right. what I give to somebody and it's not always easy to find somebody like that yeah. especially when you're working all the damn time somebody so. that you actually you know connect with versus somebody that's seeing you as a good look there's some people who are, do that yeah. and it's, it's hurtful it's just like damn it's like I, and I'm, ca I'm very cautious of that because some people wouldn't care if they you know grabbed you took you somewhere flaunted you all around da 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 and it's just like they're just using you as a pawn yeah. it's never happened to me in particular but it's just something that I'm, you know, concerned about because I don't want you to, you know, I don't like that. Like, I'm not, you know, don't, you know. But and people it, do that. In, in defense of that type of shit, it, you know, it's in difficult. Of? It, it defense, <laughs> in defense of? In defense of. No, in sir, defense no, of. No, literally in defense because I hear a lot of women say that, but the thing about it is I think it's because <clears> of the standard that's been set. As a man, we have to bring something tangible in order to get your attention. We have to be in a position to do certain things with you from the moment you meet us. And the reason why I think a lot of men are uh, like, I had her mm -hmm. is because all of the things that he had to do to get you is the reason why he feels like he's had an accomplishment in that because I had to pay for something. But I, I don't, had to but go that's somewhere. never, that's never been the case this. with me though. I can't you know speak I mean? for everybody. That might be true for a lot of people, but for me, I've never been the kind of woman that goes out and uses a man for anything. There are plenty of nice things that I could have right now if I decided to mess with somebody and, and not, you know, but not really mean it, right? There are people that I, I, I could have taken advantage of in that way, but I've never done that. I would have rolled up in here with some crazy, crazy things if that was the case. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, you know, I, I'd be off at some disclosed location, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like that for me. Okay, I've had those opportunities, but I don't take advantage of anybody. But those things have been offered to you. But, oh my God, condos, cars, money, people I never met before. But you know vacations. what comes with it. This and you know what they expect in the But it's even more than this that because there's some people. Condos. That's what I'm there's saying. people. Uh, those are the things but that on, I mean. No, 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 but I, but and I'm not accepting that. And you don't know, know what that. Yeah, that. No, there are some And it may not be what it seems. But there's some people who genuinely have wanted to be in a relationship with me and wanted that. And I'm like, but I don't view you that way and so I couldn't take these things from you because it's not genuine. I would never do that. I don't want yeah. the trouble of that and I wouldn't want somebody doing that to me. And that's that makes me sad. How you turn like down that. a condo? <clears throat> I don't feel I wasn't feeling it was I was like 21 years old. This guy was 29 and he was trying to lock me down and I was like no, Yeah what was he going to expect with that condo? He like, wanted to be yeah. with me. He wanted to lock it down. He's like, oh, she's the one. Like, I want, I'm like, bro, chill out, bro. He, he bought just you an Audi? No, he wanted to. Oh, you turned down an Audi and I a turned condo. down a lot of things. You wanted the infinity. I wanted the Lambo for being Audi. Have you, have you, an Audi. Audi. Have you ever been story? turned down? Do you go through that? Like, do you get rejected? Do you deal with rejection at this point? I don't really reach out to a lot of people yeah, I like wish that. I was living like that. I ain't turning down no fucking condo. <laughs> you gonna do what that lady say? What the hell? So you gonna do what that lady say? <laughs> For a little bit. For how long? For how long? How long do you think you gotta Until earn your condo? Until she say, fuck you in that Audi, nigga. <laughs> hey, you got the Audi, you know what I mean? So so how long, how long you, how long? I'm gonna act right for a little bit. For a little bit? For how long? 
for a condo. Just a good condo, right? It's a nice condo. Yeah, it's a nice condo. At least until I find out, like, how much, like, if it's my shit. Like, if they just, like, paying for it and I'm living When you see your name on the paper? Yeah, like, with my name on some paper. And it's paid off. Because you don't want them to leave you. Yeah, I'm sure I'm yeah. yeah. Don't let me find out the house. And, like, you if I find out. out I can't lose this shit. Nah, you I fuck can't. around, think you get in the condo. It's one of them motherfuckers. Be in that motherfucking house. <laughs> I'm bringing the Audi out. Return yeah. out the man. Hey, return, return out the man. man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, as soon no. as everything transferred to my shit, no, I'm you, straight. You, know, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't use people. I, I, I think that opens a terrible. Can we of men, we don't even get the chance really to use up. motherfuckers. Yeah, and with you, you got. We ain't met nobody know, with no abundance. accomplishments. You can't find a man in this. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. You can't find a man in this fucking building that met a woman with some abundance <laughs> like that. <laughs> Fellas, you ever experienced a woman with abundance? <laughs> You had to turn down your fucking dream house. Hey, 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 hold the on. The car hold that on. you've always wanted. Hold on, hold, hold on. on. This is too much for me. You got to amend it. Me too fast. You got to amend it. Gracious abundance. Gracious abundance. Yeah. Gracious abundance. Yeah. Because the abundance will be there. But she but make it clear. You, nigga. Yeah. yeah, it ain't for you. Yeah, you know that ain't. Mean? Yeah, you ain't never met nobody. Ain't. ain't no woman like that lady off there lying between love and hate. Cause you will deal with the crazy. If niggas look at, I mean, my uncle was. Nigga, she before. wasn't crazy. Like, That's that lady's birthday. My uncle, my uncle, my uncle <laughs> said that shit. Man, God rest my uncle's soul. He was like, man, this nigga Martin tripping on this that motherfucker. Nigga tripping. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked with the bag. That's what they fucked with the bag. Should have been. You fumbled the fucking bag. You ain't been working. He was, he was a lie. promoter. You're a party promoter. You was a promoter. She had to taught you how to ride horses. Boy, that man went and bought Lalique crystals. Right. Got the suits that was tailored to him and all that. That nigga was still man, trying to. You don't he play with people. The That's the moral of the, the, that story. Don't don't play with hey, people. I wouldn't even knew old girl was back in town the way I would have been big chilling in Malibu. What? Man. Big ass crib. Oh, oh yeah, you, you, you in the chicken can? You in the chicken can. Go fuck with Miguel New Year's, man. Hey, all I wear now is robes. Oh That's my it. God. Silk robes. Come on, man. Now, how do you how do you not become corrupted by power because you're around a lot of it? Like you just said, you just you just said you turned down condos and houses. That yeah. got to be a hell of a month. You around some hell of a niggas that's just like, hey man, you want somewhere to live? <laughs> that ain't some shit that's just all. Yeah, I was over your crib. I ain't like it. Yeah. I bought you another one. You another one. That's something else, bro. Hey, yeah, I moved your house. <laughs> that's you my house. You ain't built for niggas seven feet, so. <laughs> bought you something this morning. Exactly. Hey, you live the yeah, high ceiling. And leave that car over there, too. It's an Audi yeah, it's over there. over there. Pop. Yeah, we got Don't, you, don't it, take your it's shit. It's your favorite color. It got your name stitched in the seats. Right. It's like, how do you, how, as a woman, or, you know, especially as a professional woman, are you not, you know, affected by those things? I, I have a very strong sense of self, and I'm a go-getter and a hustler. You can't buy me. I'm you very buy big me. on that. <laughs> buy me some shit. <laughs> Fuck working. I feel like you're sending the wrong message. Fuck working. <laughs> I'm older I feel than like her. You have to work Hard too with work that, don't though. pay off. <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm keeping real with you. That's a, that's a dress. Yeah, that's a scam. I'm keeping real with you. <laughs> keep it real with you. Hard work don't pay off. It works for some people. It works for some people, but for me, it it's like off. you know. No, it don't. It pay off. I, I didn't the like those people. The motherfuckers who benefit from hard work don't never have okay. to do it. But what if so, no, if I liked them, that'd be different. Yeah? So basically, you're saying <laughs> yeah. that, that if a man that you were attracted to and like would offer you these things, you would be like, "Babe, come on with it." Yeah, because it's because it's genuine. I'm attracted to you. I'm interested in you. I'm going to give you the time of day. Things are going to be genuine. Anyone, right? I have been approached by a lot of people that have that have means, and I turned them down. It could have drastically changed my life. So many it's other a dude somewhere but I'm just eating like, a two no. piece from Popeye right now. <laughs> Man, you lying? I'm not. I, I, I'm not. It's it's just the truth. But for me, it's like I do believe in love, and I do believe I believe in that, and I'm a very genuine person, and I don't lie about things, and I you can't ever had lie a to bum somebody's ass face. Boyfriend? A bum ass boyfriend? Yes, I have. My first boyfriend was a bum ass boyfriend, and I was. I was such a devoted girlfriend, you know, he said he was going through tough times. I would send him groceries to school. I would send him a pizza because we went to different colleges. And, you know, I'd oh, buy him the nice count. groceries. That don't count. I would show up. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let, you gotta let her leave. You gotta let her leave. College? Oh, okay, well, we can. We can but, disregarding I'm, the whole time frame? Okay, well, then I want to hear what he did, though. My last book. Oh, okay, if you well, get, I thought it was gonna be funny. I thought y'all might like it, right? So he told me he didn't have any money or whatever like this, but he was really spending all his money on weed, and I was buying the dates and I was buying all this <laughs> You like know, I said, yeah. that time frame don't count. Okay, fine. Well, we can fast forward uh, into yeah, my adult, adult life. That's life, fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that situation, 
my most recent boyfriend, how that ended, I don't think that he was ready for something serious. I was very devoted, very caring, because for me, I'm a huge romantic, and I go all out, like, I'm bad, like, I, you know, bounced a check or two because I'm like, I just wanted you to have this. I, you know, I know you like it. It was some designer stuff that I didn't even have for myself, but I'm like, that's what you like, and I just Damn wanted it. to do it. Hell no, 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 no. I'm overdrew. <laughs> I overdrew. <laughs> I used the holiday man card. You bought some Dior's with a hotel key. Yeah, here you go. Oh, the Mondrian. No. Nice. <laughs> the Mondrian. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Mondrian. Yeah. Yeah. Are these a mirror? <laughs> no, just, I, I just went all out, and that was somebody who didn't reciprocate a lot. But for me, that did, isn't going to stop me from giving. You know, I have, I have a heart that just goes on and on and on. Like you know, it's endless, right? So it's like I'm not jaded. It just wasn't the best situation. My heart like to make real. <laughs> It's limited time. time only. It yeah. comes and it goes. Yeah. 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 When it goes, you be mad yeah. that motherfucker gone and wanted to yeah. come back. You gotta catch me right well, Christmas time. Well, not for one the person, but I feel like some people get jaded and now because somebody did them wrong, now they're too afraid to love again and that's that's never been me, but I know what I'm looking for and I want, so it's like I'm very selective and so you ask me why I'm single and, and that's why. It's not for a shortage of options because there are many suitors. Yeah, but it's like, do I really like you? I'm not going to waste your time to what? Go on a vacation with you and use you for your, oh, your right. means. I'm not going to do that. I won't enjoy it. I don't like that. I don't want to do that. How do you You're, establish like, though? Like, I mean, if somebody, you know, with all of what you deal with, what you say you deal you with like all these me, crazy. Chico? Are you Are you I, trying to get it? No. <laughs> No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that to you. Okay, you wouldn't uh, do that to me. Yeah, I wouldn't even do Wait, that to you. Wait, hold on, hold on, because you've been asking me a lot of I questions. Do, what I do you mean? mean? Are you, are you a bad guy? Is he a bad guy? He's a lot of questions. He's terrible? He's no, terrible? It uh, depends on who you ask, oh but God. if you're looking for what you're looking for, I'd what be What am I horrible. looking for? But not a nigga like me. What I'll tell you, you that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you oh that much. No idea what you're looking for. No shit. We all but know. how do you establish that, though? Like, what's your, do you have a vetting process, or do you just, are you consumed with work, and that's what, and that's cool to be that way, no, but. I'm you know, I'm, I'm a woman. I have a real, real clock in all of these things. So yes, I you mean, do? I definitely, yeah, we all have our biological clocks, and so I, I take that into consideration and stuff. But I'm selective, and I'm not going to settle for something just because I'm like, oh, I want to. Oh, you gonna different. settle eventually? <laughs> That's what's wrong with y'all. That's what they settle. settle. So when did settle oh, become a bad settle thing? For some shit. Because it used to be <laughs> settle down. Even when you down. find the motherfucker that, that you like, you gonna settle for something. Settle down. Well, Trust me, you know. motherfucker gonna have a mole on his back or something. No. It's gonna. Be be some shit it's that not, you well, do I mean, not I, like. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect either. Man. You know, I told you I have road rage. So, you know, there's little things like that. But it's it's got to no. be deeper than I that. I believe in love. I believe in love. I believe in those kinds of things. And so for me, I know what I bring to the table. I'm a very compassionate, empathetic person. I'm a great listener. And I, I bring a All lot of things. All these things very, sound very free. <laughs> I, money, I just told you I bought this man designer things and I went damn near broke doing it. That could be See, anything. you're not satisfied with nothing. That could be anything. Designer well, thing, that could be that little keychain I was making $50,000 a year in Las Vegas. I don't know how much that comes out to every two weeks. It wasn't much, but I bought this man some Versace that he wanted and because that's the kind that of stuff he like. And I, Versace of all <laughs> he shit. wanted some Versace. Nigga, and so you ran into one of those Vegas like El Chapo, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she ran into one of the pimp-ass niggas from Vegas. Exactly. And then, it was not from Anyway, you know what I mean. So damn, damn. You never know. Might be somebody out there watching. Like, oh, wow, Demetri's a nice girl. Damn, Let you spent a her. you spent a whole check on a, on some designer shit. Yeah, I just I knew I was gonna get the money back. I mean, I had a real job and everything, but it just was like something to see somebody smile. And for me, I just was like, you know, I wanted to do this and I'm very proactive about that. If I see like there are little gaps in your life to make your life easier, like I fill those and I'm very active in that. So you know, this motherfucker needed a Versace shirt to smile? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of unhappy ass thing? I'm like, you better find a show you like going to do it. Hello, darling, my friend.
February 3rd through the 5th, 2023, Summit City Comedy Club in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This shit falls a fucking way, but I'm still doing them. February 24th through the 26th, I'll be at the Improv in Dania, Florida. Where the fuck is that? I don't know, but I'll be there. March 4th, Variety Playhouse in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh shit, I got some Atlanta shows, nigga. We in here, the squad coming out for that one. Two shows at the Variety Playhouse. That sounds like a strip club. They got me working at the strip club? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. All right, there we go. All right, last, April 8th, 2023, I will be at the Mirage in Las Vegas. I'm back at the Mirage, man. Sold that bitch out the last time y'all came out. We gonna do it again, the Mirage. I had a suit on and all that, and my shit still was like this. <laughs> Then, my time is not free. The kind of attention yeah, that I counts. bring to somebody's life and helping and the way that I do those kind of, what I do, like, it's, it, you know what I mean? It's very yeah, valuable. I fuck you oh, up. I didn't hear what you said. I fell asleep. asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that right. shirt. Hey, man, you ever seen a sky dweller? <laughs> Baby, this bitch nice. I'd love to have one man. of these. Uh, Y'all are a mess. Well, I do my I'll best. I'll just play it. Unless you go get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, but black girl stuff, like, Tell us about the show specifically. Mm -hmm. what you consider it is. yourself a black girl? I am black. I'm just, I'm asking. Yeah. I'm doing my interview shit. I'm a black woman, yeah. I'm but yeah, I'm a black yeah. girl too, yeah. Uh huh. I saw your little clip. You was discussing um, your blackness. Yeah, we were talking about colorism on the show. Colorism. And yeah, I, I, there were some comments about the show, and they felt like there wasn't. A, Dip, enough of different hues of darker skinned people on the show. That's and what so they we addressed said. that. There were some people who weren't happy about that. And um, we, we, we talked about it and there are people who said that, you know, you're not black enough. And that's something that I've always heard my entire life. And was, was it like, a lot of people? I don't, Do you no, not, or? not on my page. Like, so it wasn't really that kind of a thing. So I don't, I don't really know, but they, they wanted to talk about it. And it is, it is a relevant issue when we're talking about the media who's historically cherry picked lighter complexion people to represent black people on the whole, not only on TV, but I in film, it's about not okay. That. I think black people look too serious. Really? Like, you know, black people faces, we look too serious when we're delivering news and shit. Really? It might cause a hysteria, like a mass hysteria. Damn. You know, shit just hit different like when a black person said. <laughs> yeah, White people be chipper when they deliver that bad yeah. news. The water system is poison. Coming up at six. Nigga be like, bruh. Fucked up, bro. Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Right. Watch this shit at 5.30, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody like, man, what the fuck about to happen? It might. Oh, my God. I don't know. So we need a black fair? news network, though. I just remember, it's buddy. Well, Diddy no, has it a be. black it's news one network. New, it's, it's, there we go. It, it revolt, and it's one in New York called the Black News Network. No, we need it to be. Well, Diddy's is actually you know. black owned. A lot of black stations and channels aren't necessarily black owned. And we do mm. have Revolt Black News, and it's a great product. You should check it out. And if you don't have you know, regular TV, you can download it on the app, too. I what got is Revolt. The, we fuck with Revolt. All right, then, all yeah, the I'll let you tune yeah, in. And why you asking if the show is about Because I'm giving you an opportunity to promote Dang. your shit. All right, let me talk my <laughs> shit. I know all about Revolt. I, know, I remember we go. when, Stop it. before they had everybody. Yeah. Wow. They, oh, back in the day. I remember they when they came out and it was called the revolution. Right. It was the whole <laughs> revolution. They changed, yeah, yeah. Uh, they changed it. I yeah. went to the office. Yeah. yeah. And drunk some rock with them. With them. We did that. And what about that De Leon No, You tried that? No, that wasn't we out was there. We was on Ciroc that day. What about De Leon yeah. Now? Yeah. De Leon that's, didn't that's exist. That's that cognac? We ain't drinking that until we get back to the office. 
Ah. When we go up there, we'll have some with them next time. All right. We got to go back. Well, do your thing then. Right. Shout out to Puff. What's the big Diddy? Call him Shout Puff. out Diddy. I know, I yeah. Because I asked okay. him personally, you remember? He said, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's okay, true. okay. He said, call okay, him whatever I'm comfortable with. Right, Just don't right, call then. him broke. That was his <laughs> rebuttal. <laughs> Can't call him that, that's for My sure. Partner. Can't call him that, that's for sure. Do you, yeah, do you, is this the first company you've worked for that's been black owned? Mm -hmm. Is it uh, a difference? Well, I, in I turned out a radio station in uh, Kansas City when I was in college. Can you be on the news and the radio at the same time? I interned before I was uh, before I was on the news, right? But you some they might, you know, especially if they're owned by the same company. Yeah, I'm sure. Sometimes but. you hear the little weather person or the traffic person. I remember yeah, in Atlanta. It depends and on and who you're like, oh, and that's so and so. Yeah. Yeah. Depends. Yeah. Pretending but. like they're in the helicopter. <laughs> I don't know, looking down, yeah. Yeah, making noise. We're we're flying above. No, you ain't set your ass up. Right there's a big tie up here. <laughs> so coming from that world that you come from, what's the benefit of working for something that's black owned or a company that's black owned? Yet? I just think it's historic and I think if we talk about black ownership and we talk about how that trickles down through our leadership. The creator of the show, Monique Chenault, of the creator of Black Girl Stuff, she's black. Our executive producers are black. Our producers are black, and so you have. That this remind me so much of this show. The creator of this show is black. Our executive producer is black. Our directors is black. It's a huge Everybody thing. black, except you don't for Ryan. See that. Except for Ryan, but he black too. He black a little bit. He black a little bit. Uh, he eat barbecue chicken. He said it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. good enough. Yeah, no, I, th I think that's that's amazing to be able to see these kinds of perspectives that have been muffled and, and hidden for so long. Yeah. And so now you're getting this, and, and, and it's amazing. And we've got the Revolt Summit coming up at the end of the month, too. I already know. So, yeah, those people are going to have to check that out as well. Man, yeah. I already sent my media pitch. Yeah. Black yeah. Girl Stuff is going to have a panel there on Sunday, nice. right? So it's okay. going to be really dope. We've got some amazing artists who are going to be stopping through as well. So you we'll drop your social yeah, media yeah, post one good time. Yes. Yeah, we had a good we'll time. Drop your social my media. social media, yes, on Instagram at Demetria Obalor. 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 Yes, go. that's a Nigerian name. I like how you say it. Yeah. 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 Obalor. Obalor. Yeah. 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 Hey, we got the two with the Obalors, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, is this the chief overlord? <laughs> uh -huh. People say that, too. My mom's an art teacher, and they'll be like, Mrs. Overlord? So that's, that's me, yes. A Demetria Overlord, yes. That's Across Demetria it. Demetria Overlord. It's good I you think, got it for everybody, because people probably see it, and it's good to hear you I think say I might be it. the only Demetria Overlord out there. Wow. Yeah, no, that's I another one. She watching this so. shit. Bitch, you ain't by yourself. <laughs> it's going to be some more now. Overlord, too. It might too. be some. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't. Think so? Not with not that combination. Oh oh oh! She is not the only overlord. I promise you. I, I have been overlord since I can't. Like that, right? Like My name oh, is oh, Demetrius oh. Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> I am the head of the overlord family. Oh my god! Well, thank you so much for having me. You guys have been awesome. Oh, yeah. for coming. Thank awesome. you for Appreciate having me. Laughing. I need. I needed that. That's exactly. what's up, man. You got to stay focused. Yeah, yeah the news came. Straight. I'm glad you were away from the news and you could. Be you, oh, and you can be fun. Yeah, that's, it is. that's yeah, what's that's, up. That's me when I run cross country, and then that's you know me. Man, and the man, DR when you for trying to get flu cross country, I fade. <laughs> <laughs> I flew myself cross country. Yeah. Uh oh, freak ass cat. Hey, don't do it. Don't do it, man. Go ahead, cat. Oh yes. Oh, you did? What? The skate rodeo? Not them, no. <laughs> Oh, a different rodeo? No. The Hip Hop Cowboys rodeo? No. You got a picture on Instagram uh, in that outfit? <laughs> no. I'm just saying it because I know he commented on the motherfucker. No. Like, like, South Show page. For so me, I just want to post him again. I just want to see what he wrote up under your I'm picture. I'm in Dallas. Like, I'm going to put on the Dallas Cowboys uniform. It looks cute. I'm like, it's fun. You know, it's a costume. I love to dress up. I've got Mortal Kombat outfits, too, if you keep scrolling. And them fire well, who you dress up as? Uh, Melina okay. and Kitana. The scary one. Yeah, and the, 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 yeah. Got that got up mouth. Yeah. But I did a really good job with it. My mom made the mouth for me. The outfit is bomb. I love to dress up. Halloween is my is my favorite holiday. Okay. So I'm taking costume requests. 
Nothing crazy, you better put some respect you on it. What you gonna do? You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta dip into the, uh, you did Mortal Kombat, you gotta dip into Street Fighter. Shun Lee is what people keep asking for, so maybe I'll hit him with that Shun Lee. I have are the you? legs for it, because you know I squat like 225. Free weight, yeah, my legs really strong. There you go, see? Or you get the cami. Kick the shit out of the other one. I know, but I have that outfit, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Did you with that, this is sparkling, Get, get that nice Kick braid and... Bye-ya! Cami, I love cami. J-O-N, what's you. your social media? <laughs> now nah, we're gonna change it to seven cheese macaroni. That's what it's gonna be. I gotta try some of that. You gotta no, sure, up. For sure. It's a video on my Instagram, actually. Ooh. The secret is one of the cheeses is orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You gotta sit that cheese on that counter, man. <laughs> Chico, you never told us what you're good at making. I did, barbecue chicken. Oh, yeah, barbecue chicken, that's right. It just sounded so, like, boring. Like, is it air fried? Damn. <laughs> it was just kind of like... You got me fucked up I'm in just there, saying, man. Like, I don't know. Hey, don't do like, Chico like, like this. Don't do like, Chico like this. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? She's going to do me great. Now like, I see how you be telling niggas you don't like it. That's how she doing. Yeah, chicken right oh, was a little oh, boring, man. Who is it, an A5? Oh, so cute. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I love oh. cars. We could talk about cars all day, but yeah. And then he wasn't offering the right kind of Audi anyway. I was like, See, don't hit I me just said it. I think it's a, yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> I caught you. You I wanted like, the one from Iron Man. Look, like, man, I'm not accepting nothing that I wouldn't want for myself. Uh, she wanted like that transporter, nigga. That's the one she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga be riding around in the transporter. It wasn't no other option. It was just an Audi. It was just, that's what it, it just, that's, I didn't indulge him further. I'm like, bro, I don't like you like that. So we don't even talk about this anymore. You could just stop right there. You should have pushed the issue. A uh, Audi? <laughs> you think that's all I'm fucking worth? A motherfucking Audi? Do I look like an Audi bitch? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, Maybe you need to get you an Audi bitch. Because <laughs> I ain't no Audi bitch. I'm traffic motherfucking bang. You yeah. barbecue yeah. yeah. chicken cooking ass nigga. <laughs> and that shit was dry. And your chicken wasn't even good, bitch. bitch. <laughs> Click. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkest, <laughs> my old friend. <laughs> I'm tired right now. Okay. <laughs> well, you know. Oh shit. I'm, I'm nice. I'm not. I'm not that bad. I, I can be. I can be. But I, I'm not superficial in that way. Yeah. Now nah, we just talking we, shit. We appreciate you stopping through the trap. Yeah, you know, it's good shit. Yeah, we appreciate you stopping through the trap and all that old good ass shit. <laughs> This has been another 85 South Shield production. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Out of here. Y'all are a mess. Good shit. Thank you. Awesome that was fun. Shit. Yeah, nah, you was there. dope. Oh, that, that is great stuff.